Hi, I'm John Boda from Unix Surplus, and today we're going to look at our 8 and 12 bay Chenbro Ray chassis. The 12 bay uses a tie-in board, and the 8 bay uses an Intel board. Chenbro is a great chassis with good reliability and great power supply wattage. People are really using it for a lot of RAID storage arrays now. So let's go take a look inside. This is our 12 bay RAID chassis with a tie-in motherboard. Right now you can fit up to 12 three and a half inch disk drives, either SATA or SAS are compatible with the system. You can open it up inside and what we're going to see is DDR3 based system that will hold a lot of memory. So a lot of our database customers are really interested in this board right now because it will hold up to 256 gigs. Currently it has an LSI 70, um, 8700 series RAID controller with a Chenbro SAS expander. This allows you to access all these different SAS drives and have internal bays for up to two drives here. Currently it has two SSD drives that normally you would put in RAID 1 for your change log data. SSDs are much faster and the A RAID 1 gives you parity protection. It has a battery backed memory cache so we're right caching capability to the disk array. It's a tie-in system board right in here, and you can see that it's model S7012. A very popular board right now because it has the 256 megs. On the back side here, you're going to see that you have all the goodies and oldies. You have dual gigabit Ethernet, you have four USB ports, serial console, and VGA. You also have dual power supplies. These ones here are rated 600 watts max each, so you have up to 1200 watts of power supply protection. And again, you can put in fast DDR3 running at 1066, and you can put dual six core CPUs up to three gigahertz. Currently, we're particularly running either a single CPU quad core at 2.33 gigahertz with Intel SpeedStep, makes a big fast enough system for most RAID or server applications. If you want to run a database application like Hadoop, or you're going to do a MapReduce, or MondoDB, where you have a large distributed database with multiple file systems, you're probably going to want more memory and CPU pad power. Memcache is also another current application for these two U servers. So that's a tour of our Tyann 2U 12 bay system. So we have here Romeo, our company mascot, showing us the 6 and 8 bay Chenbro server. This is an economical server that's really popular with a lot of people. So we still have here dual quad core processors, a little bit less memory support. You can usually only support up to 32 or 64 gigs in this machine system board. This is an Intel S5000. You don't have a hot swap backplane like you did with the other system. So typically we just run the SATA drives and motherboard supporting six bays. You have two internal bays here that you can put in hard drives. So it's technically called the eight bay system, not hot swap. You have a non-redundant power supply, but it's a real nice system in a 2U to get those six drives by Chenbro with the rack kit brand new. Again, an Intel S5000 system board, dual quad core 2.33 gigahertz Intel 53 or 5400 series processors. So let's turn on our 12 bay. Right now you can see that it's quiet. Turn it on, we can hear those 12 bay fans. It will get a little bit quieter later as we boot on. It'll take a little while to boot because it is a server and it has to validate the RAID array. But we'll come back when it comes up right now. So right now we're taking a look at our actual system board itself. It's booting up here, we have our EMI BIOS, we have dual Xeon 2.3 gigahertz, we have DDR3 running at 1066 megahertz. Uh, we're gonna run the C board into the, we're gonna run into setup and take a look at it right now. We can see here that it also has a remote management through the BMC card. And if you want to do any of these things that won't be on your normal terminal, you can do that 4, F3, if you want to have it come up right now. So it's going to boot through and we're going to take a look at the BIOS settings right now for this. First thing we're going to see is the LSI RAID card, which has all of our Seagate 2 terabyte SAS drives right now coming up. You can see all 12 drives coming up in a RAID 5 array. We can also see the red weight red BIOS with Control H. But you can take a look at some of our other videos to see the LSI good bias. Comes up through here for our Pixie boots off of either our Gigabit Ethernet ports, and then it's going to come into our BIOS setup. All right, so now we're looking in the BIOS of our tie-in server right here. You can see here that you have not only the two uh, Xeon E5500s with the SpeedStep technology, 
uh, you have all sorts of boot and security options right now. We can see here that we have our RAID bus uh, LSI controller here is one of our boot devices. We have our network boot as well. Uh, CPU configuration here, you can enable or disable prefetch, uh, speed staff, and other HT technology. Full virtualization support in our, our CPUs with 8 meg of L3 cache per CPU. Uh, you have your uh, serial port I.O. configuration where you can set the different uh, spot rates and etc. especially if you want to go through and uh, power that through the uh, IPMI terminal. You need to be able to know which port you're going to be setting and which LAN configuration. The IPMI, you can either take over a, you can set a DHCP address in here or other stuff, but it still takes over one of your Ethernet ports on your um, system board right there. Your virtualization, if you want to enable virtualization and full, full hardware uh, virtualization support on this server. Uh, very fast PCIe bus. Another thing about this server is that it has five PCIe slots, which is actually quite a lot of slots and sockets. You don't see that in a lot of system boards right there. So that's a tour of our BIOS setup utility that you can see for the server right now. Right now we're booting in VMware ESX 5.0. It shows here that you have the two E5520 2.3 gigahertz CPUs, 24 gigs of memory. This is a great machine if you want to do a virtualized environment right now. It's actually finishing up loading its last of its multi-tenant sevens and that boots up very quick off of the, the RAID array with the uh, VMware. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of our 12 bay Chenbro chassis. Right now you can see that the disk drives are still accessing. It's running around perfectly. And it's a great server for virtualization where you want to have a lot of fast hosts and a lot of memory. It's a great server for database use. And it's very economical right now to bring in as a small level server and upgrade later as you need it as a higher base machine. So it's a great building block to build your data center on. And we have a lot of these in stock. You can reach us at 877-UNIX123. See us on eBay. You'll view us on our website, unixsurplus.com. And any of our sales reps will be glad to, to help you out. Thank you.